My name is Joe Campitanelli. I'm the marketing manager for Global Spectrum here at the St. Charles Convention Center. Uh, my role as marketing manager here at the Convention Center is to uh, market the facility as a venue for these types of events, uh, all types of events, weddings, banquets, special events, conventions, trade shows. Uh, in a given year we host uh, around 400 events on average. Last year was 378, but the year before was uh, 462. We can accommodate groups from anywhere between 20 people all the way up to 3,000 people. So we have 154,000 square feet of flexible space here, so we can accommodate a variety of events and sizes. Well, the most unusual event we actually hosted was last year. It was the 2009 World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championships. It was interesting. It seemed like everywhere you turned, there was an animal in the corner, or the, where I'm standing right now, there was a large shark so <laughs> well I would say what makes the convention center the best in the area is the service that we offer to customers our goal is to exceed all expectations we want to uh, be sure that uh, your event is our number one priority and that we can accommodate any need that you uh, that you have so um, I would say I would say that's our number one goal here at the facility and that's what we strive to do My name is uh, Peter Bieberman. I'm the executive chef of Jim Edmonds Steakhouse. My name is Rob Schaefer. I am vice president of Stephen Becker Fine Dining. Dean DeLisle, president and CEO of Forward Progress. I'm Kelly Petacolis. I'm an alumni event manager in alumni relations at Principia School and College. Today, my role is to be Dr. Rob and answer all your event planning questions. We're doing a presentation for event and meeting planners to help them uh, determine uh, the best way to fill their events using social media? Well, I come to the Missouri Expo every year to meet new vendors. Um, I work with a lot of florists and lighting people, caterers, so I yeah, think this is a great place to find local St. Louis people that I can work with. This is the first expo I've been to. We've done different uh, trade shows. We've done the Taste of St. Louis, where I can go outside and I can actually cook for people. But then again, I'm in the background and I'm sitting there cooking. I don't get to sit up and shake people's hands and explain what we do. So it's a nice different trip of change. Actually, as I'm looking towards planning an event this summer, there's a few things that I would like to incorporate and um, possibly add on to that event. So new ideas and new people to work with. Oh, I love it. I love it. I get to meet different people. I'm new to St. Louis, so I get to meet different people that kind of do the same things that we do. We can bounce ideas off each other. It's a great way to network within the industry itself. I think you need to make it very interactive. I don't think people want to walk up to a wall of information. They want to, they, I think people sell a product. They want to meet the people behind the event or service. So I think recess your table a little bit, invite people in, have um, items and giveaways related to your business, uh, make it an incentive for them to come or call or follow up with you. I've never really been one, from New York City, the trade shows are so big and so hard to do that it's almost like, you know, you're a dime a dozen, no one really remembers your name, it's very hard to get it across. And with a smaller venue and, and the trade show that we have here, it's more of a friendly atmosphere. It's not people with big, uh, you know, bags going through and just collecting items that are for free. You're actually talking to these people and they're interested in what you want to do. I would say that if I could give everybody in the room, because we're speaking at 3 o'clock, if I could give everybody in the room, if they, I'm giving 10 of the top things that we're using in social media to fill events and to make events successful. But I would say if everybody in the room could utilize three of those immediately, that, that, would, that would be amazing. I think it's the one-on-one -on -one contact you have with the people behind the business or service. You get to really meet them. I think it also provides a forum where you can see a lot of things together. You can, be, you can do some comparatives. You can see people in the related fields and maybe look at their service versus the service of another. You know, you can see one facility versus another instead of looking them up each individually online. I just think it's a great idea for networking alone, even if you just come here uh, and get a booth and you walk around yourself and introduce yourself to the other purveyors here. You're meeting people that are in the same industry, you're meeting people that are interested in the same things, you're bouncing ideas off of each other. Hi, this is Ricky Kalman. You know, all my programs share one common trait 
It's teaching you how to relax all over again. You should never consider relaxation a form of luxury, but rather a necessity. Get your mind to work for you rather than against you. It'll change the way you think so you can change your world. Hi, this is Ricky Kalman. You know all my programs are customized, but they do share one common thing. It's all about relaxing and de-stressing. You should never consider that a form of luxury and more of a necessity. I can teach you how to empower your mind to get it to work for you rather than against you. Awaken that inner power. Unlock that inner magic. And I'll show you how you change the way you think so you can change your world. Ricky, I really appreciate you teaching me techniques of hypnosis, but can I use this on anyone? Yes, Ron, but you can use them on yourself and anyone, but use these techniques wisely. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I'm sure I'll put them to very good use. Pat, I am so glad that you've enjoyed the conference today. Now tell me, what was your favorite thing about it? Rob is a wonderful man. He's the best event professional in the world. Everyone should use him. He is the best. He's amazing. Rob is everything. I think I like the certification part the best. Kim, I am so glad you enjoyed the conference today, and it was such a pleasure to meet you finally. What was your favorite thing about the conference? Um, I really enjoyed the first Rob is an amazing man. He is so smart. He is my new best friend, and he is so handsome. I really love Rob so much. Yeah, so the general session was fantastic. Lisa, it's been so amazing <laughs> meeting you today. What did you like best about the conference? I am amazing. I rocked it out today. I am it. I really like the chocolate cake. Ricky Common is an amazing individual. Ricky is so good because he's able to reach every individual in that room. We looked high and low to find somebody that could to come in and bring some relaxation techniques, some uh, focusing techniques to our group, and we've heard nothing but positive things. Our program last night was a smash. Today's networking and, and workshop was a smash. He has an element of humor and fun that adds a great entertainment value, but the takeaway value of the the background of what he's really trying to teach the audience is there. As you clear all the clutter and the chatter in your minds, if you were able to do that every single day, that'd be an incredible thing to focus on just one thing. We delivered, as show producers, we delivered, and the only reason we delivered is because Ricky Kalman delivered. How many people are in your group? How many How many people are in your group? Four. Over Four, right okay, now. let's give them the proper introduction. <laughs> Trying to find somebody with uh, the ability to communicate that, offer those techniques, is very difficult to find. Uh, we were able to uh, bring in Ricky Kalman, a gentleman that uh, today proved that we uh, hit a home run.